Today we're going to be looking at the Squarespace Fluid Engine, why the upgrade back in 2022 is so important to Squarespace and has, in my opinion, made them the undisputed greatest of all time when it comes to website builders. If you disagree with that, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your views as to whether I should be checking out other software as well. But back to Squarespace, we're going to have a deep dive into the platform, explain how it uses the 12 column grid and why that's important, explain how the new Fluid Engine uses 24 column grids, giving us so much more flexibility and customization. And you're probably wondering why I'm playing with 30 year old Lego. We're going to be using Lego, hopefully to explain how the Fluid Engine works, how it works in the grid system, and also how we can use multiple layers in our designs to create three-dimensional structures on a two-dimensional screen. That's the plan anyway. Before it all falls to pieces, let's crack on. So bear with me a moment as I explain what each of these blocks of Lego actually mean in this metaphor. The white blocks here are our spacer blocks. That used to be a front and center feature in Squarespace 7. We then have our yellow blocks. Let's just say this is our content, okay? And blue, let's just say this is images and video content. Okay, so written content, images, video, spacer blocks. Originally, websites would be built on a 12 column grid. So there we would have a series of blocks making up to 12 equal size columns. As we then expand and contract our website layout, the size of the columns would change, expand, or contract depending on the screen size. So that means that the website is fully responsive and it will respond to the screen size as we expand and contract. Still with me? Okay, the first thing that Fluid Engine did was turn that into a 24 column grid. That means that at their smaller size, our blocks are half the size, some very good maths there, Elwin, meaning that we've got more flexibility to even start with. But it doesn't just stop there. Fluid Engine allows us to work in three dimensions. We're looking side onto our website now and we've got three equally sized columns. In fact, this wouldn't work because we wouldn't have five columns. So let's get another four. With the original 12 column grid, each block would have to be multiples of 12. That's still the case now with Fluid Engine, but the extra 12 columns has just made that a little bit closer. So even though we can't get perfect sizing, we can get it much, much closer now because we've got more flexibility to work with. That's our 12 column grid in a nutshell. Let's just give an example of what we can do other than the extra columns using Fluid Engine. First up, our spacer box are gone. Thing of the past. What we can also do now is click, move, and drag our elements around the page. They still snap to the 24 column grid, but the way we place them now can be whichever order we want. Before we'd need our spacer block there to, to bring that content block in one spacer from the side. And I'll show an example on screen just now. Now we can just click, hold, and drag and move it as we want. Additionally, and this is the next step, we can work in multiple layers. So we could have an image in the background and then our text overlaying part of the image. See if I can snap that one in there. So now we have an image this size. There we go. There we go. We can have an image looking like this with our text block overlapping on top of it. Now it won't look 3D on the screen, but working with those multiple layers, anyone who's worked with Photoshop or any Adobe software will know exactly what I mean by that, just means that we can be more creative with the structure. Do we want to overlay another image on this side? If we do, no problem. We can do that. Before all this starts falling into pieces, another thing we can do as well, there's a number of new features in there. So for example, we can put our text blocks with a background color behind them. The color will automatically match your color palette that you set to your website. So if you have a light panel on your website, you will have a dark slab, most likely, and vice versa. If you've got a dark background, it'll probably put a white background behind the text. You can use custom code to change that content block. So those are the essentials of using Fluid Engine and why it's really opened things up an awful lot for designers. As much as I really loved the original building block approach to Squarespace 7 and older versions using the spaces, and I initially missed the spaces, if I'm being honest, the benefit of this is that it gives us designers far more control. And actually, what the feedback I've had from clients is that it's easier to update and maintain. Fluid Engine for the win. Catch you next time. If you want an instant 20% discount from your first monthly or annual Squarespace plan, we have left instructions in the description.
It is both quick and easy to claim your discount at any time of the year. Enjoy!